Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS device running iOS 5.1.1, whether it be an iPod, an iPhone, or an iPad, using the new Absinthe 2.0 jailbreak. So what I'm going to show you here today is just how to use Absinthe. Um, if you're looking to do stuff like back up your SHSH blobs or things like that, more advanced stuff, there's a text guide on Cult of Mac, and I'll put a link to that below the video so you can see how to do some of those more advanced features. But what I'm going to show you today is just how to do the Absinthe jailbreak itself. So right here I have my fourth generation iPod Touch, and I have it connected to my iMac. And now since I am on Mountain Lion, I do have to open up Absinthe a little bit differently. Normally you just open it up like any other application, but I actually have to hit Show Package Contents, and then I have to go into Contents, and from here, Mac OS, and then right click on the Absinthe 10.6 file and open with Terminal. So if you have Mountain Lion, you'll want to do this too. Now to download Absinthe, for me right now, the website, the Green Poison website where you download this is currently down for me. And if you're watching this video, you know, within the next few hours of this being posted, it'll probably be down for you too. So below the video, I'll have not only the green poison link but also the direct download for absinthe so you can still get it even if it's down so here i have absinthe open and all i have to do is make sure my ipod in this case is connected to the computer and it's turned on you don't need to shut it off or anything like that and then from there it warns you to make a backup but like i said once again i'm just showing you how to use the absinthe tool and now that it sees it's connected i can just hit jailbreak and this is pretty simple. So you're going to see this little progress bar and it says it might take a while. So it's just gonna run through this process here and I'll speed this up so that you don't have to sit through the whole process, but it shouldn't take too long, uh, not more than just a few minutes. And it's going to go through every step it needs to do. And you might see some stuff on your device's screen, but it's all part of the jailbreak process. You can see that it's the iOS device is moving, and after it gets to a certain step in the process it will say restore in progress and then reboot like this and then currently you can see that there's just a black screen and now once it's rebooting again here uh, we can see that there's a little progress bar on the device itself and this is what you'll see towards the end of the process so at this point we can see that absinthe says done and enjoy and it only took about two or three minutes total and our ios device is back up i can unlock it here and i see that city is here and if i open up city uh, you should see the screen that asks you to wait as it prepares the file system and Cydia once again will exit as it's completed. So you're just going to wait, for, want to wait for this to run. There's nothing you can really do in the meantime and this should also take a minute or two. So basically once Cydia is done preparing the file system, you'll see Springboard Restart and then you can unlock your device, go into Cydia and you should see the menu that asks you what kind of user you are. And that's if it's the first time you're running Cydia on that device. Now in my case, I have already run Cydia so you can see it loading here and it's looking at the packages and everything like that and that's really about it it's that easy to use absinthe to jailbreak any device running ios 5.1.1 so as always if there's anything that you'd like to see me do a video on uh, whether it's something with jailbreaking anything with the mac os anything like that make sure to send me an email i hope you found this video useful this is michael with cult mac and thank you for watching <laughs>